a look at this G502X, which I think is actually a really, really good productivity mouse. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna take a look at it. Um, first thing, the reason that I bought this, I am an online teacher. Okay, so I teach all day from noon until ten at night. That's what I'm doing. I'm on my computer clicking and typing and uh, all of these things. So when I consider that I need to buy a new mouse, um, I obviously want something that's gonna be really nice. Um, nice to use, um, also nice to hold, and in this case, really nice to look at. So I know a lot of people look at this and they think, well, it's a gamer mouse. Like, why would I want a gamer mouse for productivity? But it actually, if you really take a look at it, it doesn't really look a lot like a gamer mouse. I mean, to me. To me, it just looks kind of futuristic. I don't know. I think the design on this is awesome. You know, it's just really interesting. It's kind of like, um, I don't know, like an airplane or like almost like a little bit like a stealth fighter. Um, <laughs> Anyway, it comes in three different styles. The This is the wired one, and I'll talk about why I got that one in a second. But the other one, it comes with, it comes with a wireless version without RGB, and then it, there's a wireless version with RGB. And I got this one because, well, first I didn't want RGB. I didn't actually want it to really look like a gamer mouse. And um, second, I... Well, I guess I would say I'm really sensitive to input lag, I guess is the way I would put it. Not that it's a bad thing. Um, I actually bought, before this one, I bought the MX Master 3. And it's a great mouse. Um, I really, there's nothing wrong with it at all. Um, I'm not sure why, but I just, and it, it could absolutely be in my head, okay? It could just be in my head, it could be nothing in reality. But I felt like I could notice the input lag. And that's something that I don't notice on this mouse in particular. Um, I guess because it's wired and the MX Master 3 is wireless. But in a lot of ways, you can do the exact same thing with this mouse that you can with the, um, with the Master 3. And I mean, you can see that it's got all kinds of buttons so we've got this um, uh, what are they calling it a sniper button down here which I mean you can program to do anything you want but even if you don't want it on there they even give you this little um, replacement if I can get it out they give you this replacement and so you can you can take it out and I mean it actually it looks good it looks good um, uh, no like that it looks good you know it's nice if you don't need that extra button um, I actually use it um, this is my I have it programmed to do a, a double click <laughs> so it's pretty useful for me um, and then anyway so two buttons here I use this for copy and paste and I use this like I said double click and then I use this one for um, um, uh, launch pad. No, I use this one for launch pad and I use this one for mission control. This one is just command Z. I use it for command Z just to undo um, if I need to. And then obviously this button here is the one that controls the wheel. So it's, you can see it's clicky, kind of. I don't know. To me it feels super clicky. And, but if you push this, then it just goes, right? It just goes forever. And uh, bring it back. Okay, so that's that. That's how it works. Um, the other reason that I got this one is I really like the I really like it when mice are super slippy, and if you look at the bottom of this one uh, compared to the other two, it actually has more of these um, what are we calling them sliders than than the other mice do. Um, so I figured that it would probably be a little bit more slippy. Also, this thing is like. I mean, seriously, it's like weightless. Um, 
for me, the weight of a mouse really doesn't matter. And I mean, if, if the weight of your mouse is, is a real consideration for you, man, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But, um, you know, that may not be reasonable. I don't know. Uh, it may not be reasonable. So uh, the other thing, I actually don't game. Um, I don't game at all. I was considering, since I got the, uh, the M2 Mac Mini over here, I was considering buying um, Resident Evil Village, I guess it is, and I haven't done it yet. I mean, it's 40 bucks, and I told you I'm an online teacher, so it's kind of tough, but, um, but I was thinking about doing that. But, you know, even on my iPad and my, uh, my cell phone, I, I have games downloaded, but I just never play. I just never play. I don't know why. I love, I do love video games. I think they're awesome. But for some reason, I just never play. I guess I'm always too busy watching um, tech videos on YouTube, right? That really is my favorite thing. I love tech videos. All right, so let's see. Um, it, you use it, you have to use it with the G-Hub software. Well, actually, you don't have to use it with the G-Hub software, but if you want to reprogram your buttons, you do have to use it with the G-Hub software. And it's super easy to use, um, really no problem at all. Um, it takes about two or three minutes to download, and then you can just go into the, to the configuration and you can set your buttons to whatever you want them to be and um, I found it really easy. I did use G-Hub years ago. Uh, maybe I started using it three years ago and I've definitely noticed that it has improved a lot over the years. Although, in my opinion, it was never bad. So, um, so there's that. Uh, input lag. So this has a thousand hertz pulling rate and for me, that's perfect. I do not feel any input lag whatsoever. It feels like everything is instantaneous. Um, on the MX Master 3, eh, you know, not that it's bad. I mean, it's a great mouse. Don't get me wrong, it's a great mouse. But it has a 150 hertz pulling rate. And I thought, or maybe it's 125. Anyway, it's 100 and something. It's 150 or 125. And I thought that you know, like I said, maybe it's in my mind, but I really felt like I could feel that just very slight input lag, yeah? But um, that I don't feel with this one. So either way, but I still would, I would definitely recommend the MX Master 3. I mean, I, I had no problem with it whatsoever. It's really good looking, and it's actually a really, really comfortable mouse. In a lot of ways, it reminds me of this one. Um, in a lot of ways. It's got the same kind of ergonomic thing going on. So that's really nice. Um, the sensor, it's got this, um, well, I mean, it says that right here on the box, the 25K um, sensor. I think it's actually 25.6K um, on the sensor. But <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's even possible to use at, at 25K. I mean, I think I have mine set at Three, three and a half thousand, I think, is what I have it at. It's three and a half or four thousand. And for me, that's just perfect. That's just perfect. So, anyway, um, like I said, I think it looks super futuristic. Um, I think that really, I think it's the best mouse for productivity. I really do. With all of those buttons, and like I said, with what I do every day, being an online teacher, it is perfect. I mean, I've been clicking buttons with this for, I think I got this three months ago. And, you know, I wanted to wait to do a review until, until I had a really good idea of, you know, its quality. And I mean, this thing is, is awesome. It is awesome. I would highly recommend it to to really anybody, um, but especially if you're on the computer all day, you know. And yes, you can use it for gaming, and it was probably technically designed for gaming. But um, I really don't think that uh, I really don't think that if you're not a gamer, then you just should automatically say, "Oh, well, that's not for me," because it's absolutely for me. And I told you, I just don't game. Um, okay. So right now it's 70 bucks on Amazon. You can pick it up. Um, seems like a really good deal. 
seventy dollars I mean, for a perfect wired mouse. Um, so there's that. And all right, so now for the negative. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> there is no negative. It's the positive tech guy. There's no negativity here, okay? I think it's really, really kind of a, I don't know what the word is, maybe sad or disappointing. Um, you know, when you see these tech reviews and they go on and they have a product and just for, you know, 10 or 15 minutes, they just crap all over this product, you know? And you never think about that it took some team, some designers, some engineers, you know, a couple of years to build this thing. And how do you think they feel when they see someone in 10 minutes just crap all over their year's worth of work? How do you think they feel? You think they feel like innovating? You think they feel like designing new things? No, no, they feel terrible, right? So on this channel, I don't review anything if it's bad, okay? If it's bad, I'm just going to ignore it, yeah? But um, if it's good, like this, then you're definitely gonna hear about it, you're definitely gonna see it. All right, so that's it. I can't believe I forgot to talk about the sensors. The sensors. These are, that's one of the reasons that I bought this. They're optical sensors. Um, well, they're, they're calling them hybrid. They're calling them optical mechanical switches, whatever. And uh, the cool thing about that is it makes the double clicking thing uh, impossible. Uh, it can't do it, right? It can't do it. And so my thinking was that, you know, these um, uh, optical switches, they're probably going to be a lot more durable. They're probably going to last a lot longer and, um, you know, with less chance for any sort of uh, malfunction or problem. But to be honest with you, I had the G203, which is like the cheapest gaming mouse that, that you can get from Logitech, which is also an awesome mouse and I never had any problem with it. I used that one for about three years and never experienced any weird double clicking, never experienced really any problem at all. Um, it also used the, the G-Hub software. Um, so I, the only reason that I would even think about, um, you know, something going wrong with these would just be, like I said, these the negative reviews that I saw or the, the reviews where they talk about, oh, well, here's the negative, you know, uh, how disappointing, you know. So, no, I, there is nothing about, well, the G203, there is definitely nothing about the G502X that is bad. Um, it's awesome. It's awesome all around. So, anyway. That's all I have to say about that. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate that you came by and spent a little bit of time with me. All right, take care of yourself. Be careful out there. All right, friend, I'll see you later.